Hi everyone, this is Theo from Prakablox.com. Today I'm going to review this graphics tablet. This was sent to me by Pablo. This is their new tablet, it's called the Island A609. This is a budget wired graphics tablet. I'm showing you the packaging box because I want to show you some of the features here. The specifications are quite common. It supports 2000 levels of pressure sensitivity. The report rate is 220 points per second, resolution of 5000 LPI. What's interesting is this budget tablet, it actually supports Tilt and that is something that is quite rare for a graphics tablet at this price range. The price of this tablet is currently under US $45 on Amazon.com. By the way, I'm not getting paid to do this review. I just wanted to check out this tablet. So this is it. This is the tablet. It feels quite solid. The drawing surface is quite smooth. The texture is no different from Wacom Intools. There are four physical shortcut buttons here and they are flush to the surface so they are flat. And there is a audible clicking sound when you press on them. And these buttons they are rather glossy and they are quite huge so it's very easy to press them the size of this tablet is 5 inches by 8 inches it's 5 plus and 8 plus so i think this is a medium sized tablet and this is the pen that's included the pen has a matte texture it's lightweight there are two buttons on the side and that's the tip and that's the back I think this hole is probably for you to thread a string through it there's no eraser at the back the pen feels quite nice to hold there is enough texture it doesn't slip I like the length of the pen it's quite long and it's quite lightweight the pen also doesn't require any battery to work Besides the tablet and the pen, the only other things that are included are these five replacement nibs and the nib remover. The design is quite simple. Having the drawing area and the buttons as one almost seamless piece of design is quite nice. The corners are rounded off and this is the USB cable. This is not detachable, so this is fixed onto the tablet. On the back are four rubber feet, so this tablet it doesn't glide. It's very firm when you lay it onto the table. And this is the USB cable. It's quite long, around 2 meters. I've just connected the tablet to my computer. So when the pen is hovering on the surface, the light will light up. And it has a hovering distance of around, I would say, 1 cm to 1.5 cm so that's a good height before you can use the tablet you must install the driver which you can find available for download on their website i have already installed the driver today i'll be testing the tablet on mac os i've also used the tablet on windows and it works fine but there are some things i want to say I'm not sure if it's my Windows computer that is slow, but after installing the driver, I feel that launching applications, the system, um, it just feels slower. I'm not sure if it's the tablet, but after I uninstall the driver, it seems that my Windows computer is faster. Things like opening up applications, but when you are actually drawing inside the application, the speed is fine, there is no lag whatsoever. It's just that the drivers, I think, somehow they make the system a bit slower. I cannot confirm that, so I'm just putting it out here for you to uh, take note of. So let me show you the settings that are available. Now, after you have installed the tablet driver in Mac OS, the settings will appear in the system preferences. So you can set the pressure sensitivity. Now the default level is quite soft, so I actually turn it all the way up to hard. So this is the pressure lines that you can create. 
you can map the tablet to your monitor depending on the aspect ratio of your monitor and if you are left-handed or right-handed you can choose the mode here there are only four physical shortcut buttons on the tablet so you can assign them here so you can assign the left key, right key, middle key, clicking you can also assign the buttons to launch application you can assign a specific keyboard shortcut however you can only assign that shortcut based on the keys that are here these are not all the keys that are available on the keyboard so this is actually a limited set and that presents me with a problem I am not able to find a bracket key so in Photoshop the brackets are used to increase and decrease the brush size and I wanted to set the brackets to the physical shortcut buttons here but I'm not able to do so because I do not have the option to do so because the bracket buttons they are not here so I hope Pablo can update this keyboard but other than that you can set uh, other buttons for example B for brush Ctrl Z or Command Z for undo and things like that it's just that not all the buttons are there all right it's time to test out some graphics application this is Photoshop CS5 I'm going to show you the thin and thick lines that I always do so these are the thin lines and the thick lines there is almost no lag and if you notice any lag that's probably my camera settings so the lines they appear to be very smooth they come out almost instantly these are the quick strokes they taper quite well as mentioned earlier the tablet is very sensitive so it supports 2000 levels of pressure sensitivity and it works quite well let me pick a different brush to test out the tilt response so this is the brush that I have picked out as I move my stylus around the angle of the brush changes it's not clear let me show it to you so right now I'm not moving so the brush on the screen is not moving and as I turn around like this you can see the shape of that brush it actually changes so now I'm going to hold my stylus vertically and show you some strokes and now I'm going to tilt the brush on its side and show you some strokes the tablet supports up to 60 degrees of tilt and I think it works very well let me switch over to Adobe Illustrator I'm using CS5 it's very responsive here as well pressure works very nicely there's no lag so let me show you the thin and thick lines It performs very well on Adobe Illustrator. Let me switch over to Medibank Paint Pro. This is Medibank Paint Pro. This is a free graphics application. It's very powerful. Pressure works very nicely here. the surface of the tablet is a bit smooth perhaps slightly smoother compared to the Wacom Intuos so I can say that perhaps the Intuos has more texture on the surface and it's slightly better to work with but this works quite well too 
This is mischief. Pressure works as well. There is no lack. It's very responsive. This is Tayasui Sketches Pro. This is the last application I'm going to show you. Pressure works quite nicely. I have also tested Krita and Affinity Photo with this tablet. Both the applications, they work well. So to conclude, I think this tablet, it performs quite well. I do not have any issues with it on Mac OS. With Windows, after installing the drivers, I feel that my system is a bit slow. However, when you're inside the graphics applications drawing, the speed is normal. So my Windows computer is really very slow. So I'm not sure if it's the tablet or it's my system. Other than the Windows thing, I do not have any other complaints about this tablet. Now, this is a budget tablet. I think it's as good as it can go. The main selling point for me is really the ability to detect the tilt of the stylus. So for budget tablets, usually they do not support such feature, but here it does. And that feature in a budget tablet is actually quite rare, at least currently. So that concludes my review. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If I have any updates to this video review, I'll put that in the text review and the link is in the video description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.